In Marcus Zusak's The Book Thief, Part 7, The Complete Duden Dictionary and Thesaurus, peace is a pivotal chapter that delves deep into themes of sacrifice, guilt, and the complexity of human experience and emotions. As the chapter unfolds, Max Vandenberg makes a heart-wrenching decision to leave 33 Himmel Street in the middle of the night. His departure is laden with significant emotional weight, and it marks a critical moment for the characters involved. Max, carrying a heavy burden of guilt, chooses to leave behind the safety of the Huberman household with the intent to protect them from the ever-present danger associated with harboring a Jew during World War II. This act of self-sacrifice underscores the profound impact of guilt, illuminating how it can motivate individuals to take drastic measures to protect those they love, even at great personal cost. Max's decision is not solely about finding safety for himself, but is rather a desperate attempt to relieve the Hubermans and Liesel from the peril of being discovered. His leave is a testament to his kindness, his courage, and his overwhelming sense of responsibility and love toward those who risked everything for him. Hans Huberman, too, is swaddled in guilt. He perceives his home as no longer safe for Max, a reality that clashes harshly with his intrinsic kind-heartedness and protective instincts. Hans has been acting as a caretaker to Max, not merely in terms of offering shelter and safety, but also as a moral supporter. His guilt is grounded in the incapability to shield Max completely, forcing him to confront the harsh realities of their time and place where the safety of one is inevitably linked to the danger of the collective. Liesel, the heart of the novel, encounters a significant epiphany through Max's departure and the accompanying silence that engulfs the household. This silence is sobering and starkly contrasts the peace and calm that its definition promises in the dictionary she so often relies on. This highlights a recurring theme in the narrative, the notion that words, while powerful, are often inadequate in encapsulating the multifaceted nature of human emotions and circumstances. Words are tools that can both illuminate truths and obscure realities, underscoring that meanings can shift dramatically with context. Moreover, the silence signifies Liesel's emotional emptiness and her longing for the presence that once brought vibrancy to her life despite the calamitous backdrop. Her realization addresses the theme of duality, the coexistence of light and darkness within individuals and situations. This acknowledgement aligns with the broader narrative that seeks to explore how people navigate the interplay of hope and despair amidst the inhumanity of their environment. Thus, this chapter achieves a delicate balancing act. It continues to develop the overarching themes while propelling individual character arcs forward. Max's selfless decision, Hans's internal struggle, and Liesel's growing understanding of the complexities of life imbue this section with a mix of poignancy and insight. Ultimately, these developments in type deepen the reader's engagement with the narrative, encouraging them to reflect on the intricate nature of sacrifice, the weight of guilt, and the often ambiguous realm of human constructs such as peace and silence. And as always, if you like this Bookly Crash Course video, please take a moment to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much. This content wouldn't be possible without the support of viewers like you.